Okay guys, here's the last piece that we need. The first examples that we did, one we just substituted, the second we simplified the algebra. And this one we're actually going to put in a number and solve. So when we finish these, our answer will only be numbers. We won't have any variables. So let's do one piece of this at a time. It's asking us to find f of g of 2. Well, it's not nearly as hard as it looks. So the first thing I want to do is I want to find g of 2. So I go to g, and everywhere I see a variable or a letter, I put the number 2. And so um, I like to, here's the 2 that we put in from right here. So now I need to do the math. Well, 2 squared, 2 squared is 4. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Negative 8 minus 1 is minus 9. So g of 2 equals negative 9. Well, that's not so bad. But here's the cool thing. I can now really do the substitution. It says I want g of 2. Well, we know that g of 2 is negative 9. So now all I need to find is f at negative 9. So we use our equation that's um, named f, and everywhere we see a variable, we put a negative 9. So we have negative 2, and I just need to put that negative 9 everywhere there was a variable. So now I just need to do the math. Negative 2 times negative 9 is positive 18. Positive 18 plus 2 is 20. So f of g of 2 equals 20. And I am done. So I know this video went pretty fast, but you can watch it more than once. What I want you to do is I want you to pause and make sure that you've written the example down. Listen to it uh, a couple of times if you need to. It's really straightforward. You're just doing substitution. Uh, I want you to do your best. If you need um, help, you're welcome to email me. You're welcome to reach out to anybody in the class whose information you might have. And I'm going to um, give you an assignment. You'll find the assignment in It's Learning. And I really appreciate your hard work, you guys. Stay in there. Don't give up.